to discuss about mediated design pattern theory, principles, real life examples and real time examples. In the next video, we will try to discuss about mediated design pattern practical implementation using Java. So first, what is mediated design pattern? Mediated design pattern is one of the important design patterns which falls in the behavioral design pattern. So basically there are three categories of design patterns. First one is creational, another one, next one is structural, third one is behavioral. So mediated design pattern falls in the structural design, sorry, behavioral design pattern. So before discussing about mediated design pattern, we will try to discuss about the real life example so that you could get the theory behind mediated design pattern in a better manner. So let's consider an airport. So this is Chennai airport. In Chennai airport, if you have, if you have, if you have, so in Chennai airport, a number of flights would be landing at some time, would be landing in a, on timing basis. For example, for, for every five minutes, a flight would be landed. So uh, similarly, if a flight would be take uh, take off from that uh, pathway for every five minutes. So here this is a busiest chat airport in India, one of these busiest airport in Chennai, in, in India. If suppose let's consider a situation where three flights are trying to land at the same time. So A, B, C. So A is a one flight, A is one flight, uh, one plane, B is one plane, and C is one plane. If suppose if these three planes are trying to land on a particular pathway at a particular time, if suppose if there is if there are no intermediates between them, if there are if, if these three planes don't communicate well, then the situation will be in a very bad manner so if suppose if these three flights are trying to land on a particular pathway then there could be there would be a many chances that the flight would be dashed together and it would be busted so to overcome this situation every airport has atc atc means air traffic controller so what they would do is they will try to communicate with the every plane that is coming and that is trying to land on a particular pathway and they will try to they will try to communicate between multiple uh, planes so here if suppose a b c are trying to land on a particular pathway atc will intimate a that uh, a b c that three planes are trying to land on that pathway so please try to be safe and then ATC will guide the planes which one which one needs to be landed first and then next and then other and then the third one so here ATC is playing a major role so air traffic controller is playing a major role if suppose if A needs to communicate with C there won't be any communication uh, facilities at all so if suppose if A needs to communicate with C, what A would do is A would try to communicate with the ATC and then ATC would get the information from C and ATC would uh, give that information back to the A. So here ATC is playing another role. So it's acting as a mediator. If suppose if A wants to get some information from C means A will try to uh, intimate that information to ATC. ATC will get that information from C and then ATC will uh, give back that information to A. So here ATC is playing another role called mediator, mediator job. So it's trying to uh, interconnect all the planes and trying to get the information and trying to give back that information to the required plane. So this is the real life example where mediator design pattern is, is playing a, ma a major role. Here ATC is a mediator. So we can consider another example. Now we are trying to consider an example where multiple objects are trying to communicate with each other. So A, B, and C. A, B, and C, and D. So these are the four objects that are trying to communicate with each other. If suppose, if there are no intermediate means, then what, if suppose A needs to communicate with B, C, D means, there should be some connection between A to B, A to C, and A to D. And then, if suppose B want to communicate with A means, then there should be some connection between B to A, B to C, and then B to D. Similarly for D. So for D, if suppose D wants to communicate with A means, there should be connection between D to A, D to B, and then D to C. So here, yeah, it's a complex communication. To overcome this, the mediated design pattern, 
to overcome this uh, hurdle mediator design pattern is playing a major role a b c d these are the three four objects if suppose a needs to communicate with the other object instead of communicating with the other object directly it will communicate with the mediator object so if suppose a wants to communicate with b c d it just communicate with m and it will try to uh, give the required information that mediator object will do the remaining job similarly b c d so if you look at this uh, picture you could see the complexity behind the scheme if you look at this picture you could see the simplicity behind the scheme so if a needs to communicate with the b c d it just communicates with the m which means mediator object so mediator object will handle those hurdles and other things begin this stuff so now we will go back to this slide we will try to discuss each point in a detailed manner using these examples the first point is reduce the communication complexity between multiple objects so this is the scenario where multiple objects are trying to communicate with each other if there are no mediator objects then the situation would be very bad since there is a mediator object the communication between multiple objects become simple and the second point is provides pattern sorry pattern provides a mediator object which handles all communication difficulties between objects so we can relate that uh, point with this example so once again pattern provides a mediator object which handles all the communication difficulties between the object suppose a uh, flight a is need to is trying to communicate with flight c and flight b since they are flying on the sky flying in the sky they don't have uh, the they won't get a chance to communicate with each other because of some radio frequency problems like that e, here if he needs to communicate with c flight and b flight it just communicates with the atc air traffic controller that air traffic controller would communicate with the c flight and b flight and get the required information and then it will give that information to a and the mediator is the communication center for the office we have already discussed about this point while uh, explaining the examples and then when an object needs to communicate with the other object it doesn't call the other object directly instead it calls the mediator object which handles those hurdles so this is the example if suppose a needs to communicate with b c d object it don't communicate it uh, it won't communicate with the subject directly instead it communicate with the mediator object mediator object will take those difficulties and then reduce the coupling between the objects so here it's a tightly coupled here it's a loosely coupled the tightly coupled means if a needs to communicate with b c d a needs to have the references of the b object c object and d object which is a tightly coupled uh, which is a tightly coupling example whereas if suppose a needs to communicate with b c d it needs to have just a reference of mediator object so which is loosely coupling so these are the theory principles real life examples and real time examples of media to design pattern in the next video we will try to cover the practical implementation of media to design pattern so thanks for watching